Hey, thanks for joining me on the web. I'm meteorologist Mike Grogan. Warm and windy weather this afternoon. Well, we'll call it warm 61 degrees. Mostly sunny skies prevail in your sun tonight as setting at 614. Alright, so with the warm up today, we have some areas in the 60s, a few spots making it only into the 50s, but it is above normal weather this afternoon. So enjoy the spring like warmth. The other issue though with the strength of the winds, 30 mile per hour gusts and humidity dropping below 30%, there is a heightened risk of fire spread. That's the risk this afternoon, so just avoid burning outdoors, especially in the areas in the red. That's where the winds will be highest combined with the lower humidity. Now as we move through the day, we're going to end up with the winds becoming lighter, but that's not until after dark. 61 year high giving way to low 40s tonight. We're looking at the trend to our north. There is a boundary set up. You can see the much colder air not far off to the north, and that will eventually be seeping southward. But what happens first? Clouds return from the south. We'll end up with mostly cloudy skies on your Tuesday. Still a mild one with that high of 59. But Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, showers are breaking out. If anything, some drizzle as well and wind switching to the north. And that will send those temperatures down into the low 40s, upper 30s across the Tulsa area by Wednesday morning. We're going to be hanging out in the 30s with raw, windy conditions with some showers around. In fact, notice the temperatures combined with some of that light precipitation would indicate maybe some light sleet or light freezing drizzle or light showers that are freezing on contact. That's the concern, especially north of Tulsa by Wednesday afternoon, and that threat will continue into the evening hours as temperatures slowly drop below freezing all the way down to near I-40. So given that fact, we are concerned about a little bit of icing potential wait late Wednesday, early Thursday, especially on untreated or elevated surfaces. It could be a mix of freezing drizzle or light sleet with more just light shower activity further to the south and east in the green. For the Tulsa area, that means our best chance of weather for wet weather would be late Wednesday into early Thursday. And once again, we might see some sleet or light freezing drizzle as we go through that evening could result in some light icing on those surfaces. So that is a concern. Now that's going to come with our first very big cold spell by midweek with the front arriving by early Wednesday morning. And then we'll see a one day warm up Friday before our next strong cold front straight in from the Arctic arrives and that will send our temperatures to nearly 30 degrees below normal for highs. It is a serious Arctic blast coming up, so you'll need the winter gear on hand as we begin the month of March. 61 for your high today. Fire danger is concerned this evening. Still breezy temperatures dipping to the low 50s and down to 40 by the start of your Tuesday. As we move forward, you'll see a lot of clouds on Tuesday, pretty much dominated by clouds on Wednesday with temperatures falling from 41 in the morning to the 30s by afternoon, mainly drizzle, but light showers possible and maybe freezing drizzle Wednesday night. Thursday, it's tapering off early in the morning, mostly cloudy during the day, a high of 38, a warm up on Friday, perhaps a passing shower, and then a cold start to the weekend, a strong north wind, barely above freezing Saturday and likely below freezing all day Sunday, might even have flurries or some light snow showers in the mix.